ओके सो नाउ लेट्स डू टू थ्री क्वेश्चन एंड देन वी विल जस्ट समराइज वॉट वी हैव सीन टिल नाउ सो लेट्स सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट देर सेइंग इफ देर आर सिक्स लीनियरली डिपेंडेंट वैक्टर्स इन आर सिक्स सो दे आर टॉक अबाउट आर सिक्स एंड सिक्स लीनियरली डिपेंडेंट वैक्टर्स इन आर सिक्स देन दीज वैक्टर्स कैन नॉट फिल आर सिक्स इज दिस ट्रू और फॉल्स सी इफ यू आर हैविंग सिक्स लीनियरली डिपेंडेंट वैक्टर्स इन आर सिक्स देन कैन यू कैन यू फिल आर सिक्स आंसर इज नो देन ऑब्वियसली दिस इज ट्रू दे यू कैन नॉट फिल आर सिक्स सी टू फिल आर सिक्स टू फिल आर सिक्स फिल मीन्स सी डोंट वरी अबाउट वॉट डू आई मीन बाई फिल लाइक दिस इज जस्ट अ जस्ट अ यू नो इनफॉर्मल टर्म दैट वी आर यूजिंग सो फिलिंग द स्पेस मीन्स दैट यू आर बेसिकली एबल टू क्रिएट एनी वैक्टर आउट ऑफ दोज वैक्टर्स सो इफ यू हैव सिक्स लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट वैक्टर्स इन आर सिक्स देन यू कैन फिल द स्पेस विथ सिक्स डिपेंडेंट वैक्टर्स यू कैन नॉट फिल द स्पेस सो बेसिकली टू फिल आर सिक्स वी नीड वी नीड वी नीड exactly exactly six linearly independent vectors right so exactly six linearly independent vectors so let me just write it clearly see if they just give you five linearly independent vectors then you cannot fill r6 right see if they give you if they give okay just tell me that which is sufficient to fill r6 which is sufficient sufficient to fill r6 just tell me this first option is that first option six linearly dependent vectors second option is that five is enough but there has to be linearly independent vectors third option is that seven any any i don't care whether linearly dependent independent i don't care any vectors seven any vectors in r6 obviously these all vectors are in r6 okay so seven any vectors in r6 and d option is that six uh, let's just say uh, okay uh, d option is that six linearly independent vectors vectors in r6 then then which is the correct answer see six linearly dependent no that cannot do five no five cannot do see five linearly independent vectors cannot do you have to have exactly six linearly independent vectors to fill r6 so five cannot do seven any vectors no see out of those seven vectors let's suppose you have u1 u2 those seven vectors it might be possible that all are linearly dependent on u1 only which means one of them is u1 another one is 2u1 another one is 3u1 another one is 4u1 something like this right another one is 5u1 another one is 6u1 like this i mean there could be there could be all of them could be just dependent on u1 which means all of them could be just redundant so any seven vectors won't work there has to be out of seven i if i say if i just claim that out of these seven whatever seven you are giving to me out of these seven if six are linearly dependent okay six are linearly independent and uh, not dependent six are linearly independent six are linearly independent out of this seven then yes yes you can fill r6 but if out of the seven only five only three only two are linearly independent only one is linearly independent then no you cannot fill r6 so seven any vectors won't work i need to have surety that out of this seven six has to be linearly independent right i actually need exactly six linearly independent vectors and what else i am having i don't care actually right so basically i i have to have six linearly independent vectors exactly six linearly independent vectors in r6 and what else see uh, apart from this six uh, what else i have anyway that will be linearly dependent vector like because it is r6 and you cannot have more than six linearly independent vectors in, in r6 so basically in r6 you have to have exactly six linearly independent vectors right any seven vectors won't work i have to have i have to be uh, i have to follow a condition where out of this seven six has to be linearly independent vector i don't know that whether 6 5 or 3 how many linearly independent vectors are there that's why c is not the correct answer right so if there are six linearly dependent vectors then you cannot fill r6 then answer is yes answer is yes true this is true i hope you understood nice question right okay now let's just solve this question given that below two vectors are linearly independent does they fill r3 See to fill R three again to fill R n you need three or uh, to fill R three you need three linearly dependent vectors. They give you two linearly dependent vectors. No, they do not fill. Answer is no, right? So let me just write answer. Answer is no. You have to have three linearly dependent independent vectors to fill R three. I hope you understood this. Okay. Now let's just solve this question. 
if four vectors in r4 are linearly independent then they span okay span actually means fill then they fill then they fill r4 let me write fill in our terms actually i am using a informal term that is fill okay so if four vectors in r4 are linearly independent then they fill r4 yes i just need four vectors in r4 i need five vectors in r5 r need six 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 linearly independent vectors in r6 like that i need four linearly independent vectors in r4 then yes if if then they fill r4 the answer is yes right yes that is true nice question right okay let's just solve this question what they are saying in r4 any four vectors can fill the space no see if you want to fill the space in r4 you need four linearly independent vectors right any four vectors no that won't work any five vectors will fill the space no that won't work because i need i need, see to fill the space i need this is my requirement let me just write it here that i need four linearly independent vectors now let's just see from where i am getting four linearly independent vectors from which option for any vector no any four vector no any five vector no out of those five vectors if someone claim me that out of those five vectors four are linearly independent then i can say yes otherwise no right so otherwise no so this is no this is no any four linearly dependent okay no i need four linearly independent let's just see any three no any three linearly dependent independent won't work any 10 vectors no that also won't work why because any 10 vector i need to have the surety that out of those 10 vectors i should be having four linearly independent vectors right so i should be having four linearly independent vectors so that's why that that is also not true and then finally answer is none of this uh, because none of the above because that none of them is true so basically if there is some option something like this that maybe let's suppose uh, let me just uh, put one option maybe uh, some option and then just tell me whether that option is correct or wrong suppose if i put some option which is which is any 20 vectors any 20 vectors such that such that four out of 20 out of 20 are linearly independent then what is the answer then yes it it is a correct answer see i need ultimately i need four linearly independent if four are linearly independent whatever extra you are giving me that is okay you are giving me 16 extra vectors that are just redundant because i can anyway create those 16 vectors using those four linearly for using those four linearly independent vectors why because four linearly independent vectors can fill the space so whatever 16 remaining you are giving me i can anyway anyway create those uh, those vectors uh, using using my four vectors right so that's why this is the correct answer so again just for this problem this is the correct answer right okay now let's just summarize what we have seen so far to be very very honest we have not seen anything apart from just one one or two basic definitions so i don't have anything to summarize to be honest like i just have one or two definition to summarize you might say that what kind of summary it, it is like if you if uh, after you know 3 3 hours of lecture we are just uh, summarizing in one line then what kind of summary it is Honestly, this is the only summary I can give you. The reason being is that that whatever we have seen till now is just one or two definition. One definition that we have seen till now from the very first lecture is regarding regarding the linearly independent or dependent mathematical definition. So whenever you have any confusion in the linearly dependent independent, just remember this mathematical definition. Right. So this is one summary where. Uh, if someone asks you whether linearly dependent or independent, then you just put that in the equation. Just say that can you give me at least one CI which is non-zero? If yes, then linearly independent. Otherwise, linearly independent, right? Okay. So this is this is something which is just one point that we have seen. Another point is that regarding filling the space. So you can say that to fill to fill R three or R n, we need we need n linearly independent vectors. right or in other words n linearly independent vectors in other words n linearly independent vectors can fill the space of rn right this is the only point that we have seen so don't worry if you are if you are not getting that what is this uh, vector and all actually like uh, you will be used to of this because the whole linear algebra will revolve around this so you will be used to of this don't worry and from now what we are going to do 
we are going to relate two concepts. See, we have seen that what is linearly independent, independent and dependent, right? Dependent. We have seen this, this concept and then in the gate syllabus, there is something called system of linear equation, which is AX equal to 0 or something called AX equal to B. So, whatever we have seen till now, what does just basic for this AX equal to 0 or AX equal to B? Now, good thing about this AX equal to 0, AX equal to B is that even if you do not know any intuition, any basics, anything, then there is a procedure, there is a systematic procedure to solve these kind of questions. I will tell you the systematic procedure also, but before that, I just wanted to build some intuition. If you have got this intuition that we have talked talk, talk till now, then it is fine, otherwise don't worry. So now what we are going to do in the next video, in the next video, I will tell you some concept which will relate both of this. So basically till now, this is some separate concept and this is some separate concept. But there is some something which is which is going to which is going to bind these two. Okay, bind these two so tightly that you will whenever you are you are seeing the AX equal to B or AX equal to zero, then you will just think about that. Con uh, I mean, uh, you, you will just think, think about linearly dependent and independent only, which means whenever you see AX equal to zero, you will think about this. Whenever you see AX equal to B, you will think about this. So that's, that is just one concept which will relate all of this so what is that concept the concept is called multiplying multiplying a matrix with a vector so we are going to see this in the next video and once this concept is covered then you can just relate these two topics very very nicely okay so that's the whole story till this point so now this is the end of linearly dependent and independent vectors. Next, we are going to study multiplying a matrix with a vector. Then once you study multiplying a matrix with a vector, then we are then going to start the system of linear equation. And then that's where the linear algebra actually starts. Okay. So after, after this concept, after this multiplying a matrix with a vector, we are actually going to start linear algebra, which will be very systematic procedure. I mean, till now we were just building the intuition about what is vector, what is linearly independent, dependent, multiplying a matrix and vector. And these, these things are small, small things. If you've understood perfectly fine, other in those in those videos upcoming videos about the system of linear equation you will get to understand everything very very clearly okay so thank you in the next video as i said we are going to discuss multiplying a matrix with a vector yeah thank you so much